What is going on everybody? Today we're going to take a look at right guard TJ Bass, who in my opinion is the second best right guard on this roster. Yes, I think TJ Bass is better than Josh Ball, and I think after watching the tape, I believe the Dallas Cowboys kind of believe that as well. And there's a reason why Bass has actually been taking first string reps in training camp, right? We've already seen that Bass has taken more first string reps than Asim Richards, who has been playing a lot at left guard, and that's primarily because Zach Martin was out, and the Cowboys needed to figure out that right guard position, and Josh Ball kind of just laid it in there because he was more of that veteran, but it's clear after watching the tape, TJ Bass is better because you see plays like this, where the guy gets out of his stance, he's pulling to the right, loops around the down block there, makes contact, and does a really nice job creating that lane that you want for the running back right there. Yes, he slightly pulled the guy, but... You know, what's blocking without holding a little bit, right? Let's just be honest. That's a really, really nice, smart thing to do by TJ Bass because it doesn't get called and you pick up six yards on this play. Just a really, really nice job. I really like what I saw on tape from Bass. I'm really fired up for this one. Let's get right into it. So one of the big things for me with offensive linemen that are young is their willingness and wantingness to finish a block to stick with the guy, to move a guy, to try to put his ass into the ground. And that's TJ Bass. And I know it kind of comes off the screen here, so it is a little hard to see. But you see him right here make contact, and he doesn't just let this go. He pushes this defensive tackle. Look at this. He gets physical. He gets into his chest. He wants to move him. He wants to create as much of a lane as you can right here in case the running back looks to possibly bend it. Obviously, the running back went to the left. But TJ Bass doesn't have eyes behind his head. He doesn't know where the running back's going. What he knows is the running back could possibly bend it back to the inside, which means he could possibly come back towards his side. So that's a great job to stay physical and want to move someone. Check this run out by Deuce Vaughn. Has nothing to do with any of the offensive linemen. I mean, this guy's going to be RB2 in my opinion. Unless Malik Davis really shows up in this next uh, couple of preseason games, I find it hard to believe this right here. Ability to make two, three, four guys miss possibly right. That's ridiculous. It's a really, really nice run right there by Vaughn. The guy looks good. Guy looks impressive. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. So this play right here is very upsetting for someone like me who loves offensive line, who loves run blocking, who also understands that Mike McCarthy is going to do this a lot. This is a run to the right of the formation, but there's a pass element attached to it. The quarterback can throw the ball super quickly if he wants, which in this instance, the quarterback does. Yes, it's a 10-yard gain. That's great for the offense, but I want you guys to watch the right guard here. Watch the right guard reach. Fantastic job reaching, and I know it's very quick, and it may be hard to kind of see it, but look at how fast Bass is out of his stance, and he's going to reach that defensive tackle right there. Look at that. To me, if the quarterback actually pitches this here to, to Deuce Vaughn, this block right here would allow this play to have success because he's now sealed this off, right? And if you guys think that this was not a true run pass option, let me go ahead and just get back into the other angle. And you guys can watch some of these guys where they're going to try to finish their blocks up top, right? If you watch number 86, Schoonmaker here, he's going to make contact and he's going to try pushing, right? He's not going to just let light up on his block. He's going to try to fully make the block. Uh, even the, the receiver here at the top of your screen, he's trying to hook this guy up and, and hold him, right? So if this was a, a, a play that wasn't a true run pass option and the run element was not attached to this, these guys would not have blocked it the way they did. But again, really nice job by TJ Bass to reach. Keep in mind, this type of stuff translates into a successful offensive lineman. You got a dual concept here by the right guard, right tackle. If the linebacker comes to the left of the right guard, the right guard's going to pick him up. If he goes to the right of the right tackle, the tackle picks him up. Now, in this instance, you're going to see TJ Bass process up to that linebacker. TJ Bass is going to double. The linebacker jumps to the inside, and Bass is going to get off the block, and he's going to pick up the linebacker. That's a great job. Had John Stevens Jr. done just a slightly better job blocking, uh, this four-yard gain would have been maybe a seven or eight-yard gain, and a big part of that would have been the block between the right guard and right tackle. Just a really, really nice job if you ask me. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. So you got this defensive tackle who's going to try to bull rush through the right guard here and try to run his ass over, and the right guard's going to anchor down on him. I mean, that right there is a really, really nice rep. Let's go ahead and slow it down. It's a little bit easier to see. A really nice job, right? Good technique. He lands the left hand to the inside. Keep in mind, 
The defensive tackle is slanting to the inside, so you're going to really use that left hand to slow him down. Hand lance to the inside, right arm to the outside. The base is beautiful, right? You see him really put those legs apart. He's going to drop the hips. Obviously, the running back's kind of in the way, but you guys get the point. Anchor down right there and shuts it down. That's the type of stuff that I like to watch. A true one-on-one block here, once again, gets his hands to the inside and anchors down. Now, I know these are quick passes, right? So it's not like they're long developing plays. But generally speaking, you win or lose a rep within the first two seconds. If you're not in position to make good contact and have a good base, you're not going to win the rep. In this instance, TJ Bass is in a fantastic spot. Look at this. Bam! Gets his hands right to the inside. Even beyond that. Watch him throw a little ghost move here. Watch him throw that right hand up. Brings the right hand back down. But the fact that he threw that right hand, the defensive tackle reacts. The D-tackle tries to swipe the hand. He's just super late. Right? And keep in mind, we get to slow it down so it's easier for us. But I love this. Throw the right hand. Throw the ghost move. Let the defensive tackle react. The defense tackle is going to throw a swipe after Bass brings the hands back down. And from there, you put the hands to him. From there, you anchor down, you shut it down. That right there is absolutely elite type of blocking from a really, really young player. Check this rep out. You got a 26-yard run. And watch Luke Schoonmaker get up to the linebacker. And he's going to absolutely open this lane. A big, big shout-out to Schoonmaker on this play right here. This play does not work without that block. Uh, to me, when I look at this play right here, and keep in mind, this is a good job by Bass, good job by 72, Alex Taylor, the center, even Stevens Jr. does a good job. His block is a little bit easier. He just has a simple out block. But Schoonmaker's the guy that gets up to that linebacker. He's the guy that has to put that left hand as a drag hand to help out the right tackle right there, had that defensive end slanted outwards. And then Schoonmaker's going to get up to number 50, make contact. And look at this. Look at him do a really, really nice job. And you see Deuce Vaughn sees it with the vision. Beautiful rep, if you ask me. Make a couple people miss. I love that right there. Check this out. You're going to get a duo concept again. Double here up to the linebacker. Double here up to the backside linebacker. And once again, TJ Bass and Alex Taylor are going to get some movement. And Deuce Vaughn scores a touchdown. I mean, look at that, man. That right there is fantastic. Double Process where the linebacker's at. Get to him as well. I mean, that right there is a really, really nice job. Just like that, you get a touchdown. One of the things that I absolutely love is the mindset here by the right guard. The mindset of wanting to finish a block. Look at this right here. He's going to understand that the slide is to his side, right? Understands that Alec Lindstrom is sliding to that side. He's going to use the left hand to kind of help just a little bit. But his goal is to go and crush number 54, and he hits him, but he doesn't get him clean enough. He doesn't get him to the ground. But again, it's that mindset to want to finish a block. I personally absolutely love that mindset. That's a really, really nice job. Great job by the quarterback to get Stevens the ball. So for a 21-yard gain right there. So this is towards the end of the game when you have a true pass set basically on every single down, which means the defensive line knows that they're going to pass rush. And you can see that the right card is just really, really consistent. Very good punch, knows how to win, is able to anchor down. Uh, to me, I think TJ Bass may be the sixth best offensive lineman for the Cowboys. Or at least it's debatable that he's one of the better backup offensive linemen. And I don't know if he has the versatility to play tackle like he did in college. But when you put the snaps on, when you actually really analyze his tape, the guy looks good. He looks comfortable. And I think the Dallas Cowboys may have something here with TJ Bass as a future right guard, right? To me, if you let this guy develop a little bit, if you wait until Zach Martin's done playing football, obviously they got him extended earlier today. But if you wait and you want this guy to be your future, I think he can develop into something really, really special in about two to three seasons. And I'm very, very fired up to kind of follow this guy over the course of his career. Final rep here. He's going to do a really, really nice job picking up the delayed blitz slash defensive line game. Uh, you can see the defensive end is going to slant to the inside and 51 is going to come to the outside. And he sees it, him and 72 process it, pick it up. And it's really 66 that releases 72, right? He puts the right hand on the back of him. That kind of pushes him, lets him know that he has this. 72 gets 51. Great job. 66 picks up the defensive end. And just like that, the quarterback steps up, delivers a touchdown pass to Stevens. This is very, very good processing by 66. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, 
consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.